Battery Painter. Today I'd like to review a couple of products, the first one being Frog Tape. Um, the reason being is Frog Tape does not bleed underneath. It seals with uh, contact and moisture. Now they put it in this plastic container for a reason. If you ever buy this stuff, always keep this container because it does tend to dry out, you know, the special chemical they use. So it doesn't bleed underneath. And again, it's activated by moisture. Now, on this job here, we painted the walls a couple of weeks ago. And the homeowner decided he wanted the trim painted. So in this case, what you do is apply frog tape and then brush it in. And then immediately pull, pull off the uh, frog tape so it doesn't stick. Um, the other product um, I'll be using is uh, Regal. It's more Regal. It's a semi-gloss paint, and it's their. It's not their top of the line. Their top of the line is called Aura. This is uh, their second, second best paint. It's very, it's very, very excellent paint. If I was to rate it, I'd say it'd be. I'd say about a 8.5, 9 out of 10. Now, applying it, it goes on beautifully. It just, there's no drag. It's like going on with butter. A couple of negatives, though. Now, there's a bit of an odor to this. It's a, it's a very low or zero VOC paint. As you can see, it's got the green guard, so it's uh, eco-friendly. They call it the Green Promise. Actually, I think all of Benjamin Moore's paints are either low or zero VOC. Their tinting system is 100% zero VOC, which is nice. You know, other paints, they can claim it's zero VOC, but uh, once you apply the uh, tints, it adds some VOC to it. So this has a bit of an odor, but it does, it does roll and brush beautifully. Probably one of the best brushing things I've ever used. The other somewhat negative is you've got to be careful with it because, because it does flow, it's not as tight as other paints. It can't fling off the brush. You've got to cover your area. Like the first time I've used it, uh, it did fling all over the floor, so I had, to, I had to clean it up. Like naturally speaking, yeah, I'll give you an example. Here's why I paint this frame. Start with the inside. Now as long as you go slow with this stuff, you're not going to fling it all over the place. It's a bit of a learning curve. Like I was saying, most of the, uh, the paints I use, like Benjamin Moore Ben, it's a little bit thicker paint so it's not going to fling off your brush. But then again, Ben is not the greatest trim paint. It, it's because it's thick, it's going to drag on you. This is beautiful, it's phenomenal paint. I like to start at the bottom when I'm cutting in. So I can uh, feather it out as I'm going up. Always feather it out like this, going down.
And what I'm using to apply this paint is a two and a half uh, Cortez brush by Corona. I think it's the best brush on the market myself. But whatever works for you. Now using tape makes it a hell of a lot easier to cut in. And you'll never get a better cutting line than with taping. But if we were to do this entire job by scratch, from scratch, we'd do the trim first and, and then paint the walls. You can actually paint the trim right onto the walls and then when you're painting the walls, you cover up that white paint. So I can go over this right now, it's not going to mess up the finish. You see any blemishes? Now for the flat area, I'm going to use a little mini roller. Okay, so it's all cut in now. This is all brushed in. I'm going to get a little tiny mini roller, 5mm roller. Interior decorator who 
charge is 125 bucks an hour. For EcoStar painting, this is Ted Minch, the Calgary painter. 